Hi guys and welcome to Easy WP for You. So in this video, I just want to go over with you on the global widget for Elementor. Obviously, for this purpose, you would need to have the Elementor and Elementor Pro installed on your website. And so without further ado, let's just get started. Once you've logged in into your website through your WP admin credentials, just go into your dashboard. And again, I just wanted to emphasize that when you're going to your plugins, just again, make sure that you have your Elementor and Elementor Pro installed on your website and activated. In case you don't have it, we have the link in the description down below so you can go and purchase your own license if you need to. Sometimes we would want on our website to have a widget which is going to be global to our website. It means that when you're creating a simple widget or let's say you just want an image carousel or an image gallery and you want it to style one time and it's going to be all over your website with one simple slick design. So in this case, you will be able to do so with a global widget. That widget is only available on the Elementor Pro license. So in order to do that, I'm going to demonstrate it on a simple web page. Then we're going to turn it into a global widget. So let's just do it. All right. So we're going to go to pages. And we're going to add a new page. And this page, we're going to do, uh, let's say, um, global widget page. All right, cool. Then click on the edit with Elementor button. So again, let's do uh, the gallery and let's just drag and drop it into the little box that we have over here. Let's just just click it and then drag it over there. Once you have it, let's just add some pictures, have some dummy products that I can use. So let's just do that. Add some cool. We're going to have some hoodies. Cool. Once you've done that, just click on the create a new gallery. Once that again, here you can edit the gallery. If you want, you can edit the order of the products. Let's say, for example, you want to do the shirts first, then the hoodies. And then you want the cap and first you want to do the, uh, the flag. Okay, let's just say it. this is the order, all right? Cool, let's insert the gallery. And we have the gallery over here. So once we've done that, we can order it for, uh, let's say we have uh, four columns, we just want to make it one column, so it's going to be a big one, or let's say I just want to make it like 10 columns, it's going to be very, very small. Again, you can play with it, um, whatever suits you. Cool. So the next thing you want to do uh, is just style a little bit. I'm just going to go and style it and then you'd see what I'm uh, what I mean. Cool. So after I did some styling on the widget, what I did is I basically configured the aspect ratio to be one on one and then I went to style and I configured the border radius to be 50 percent. So let's say I want to keep it all the way on my website. So it's going to be the same thing every single time. And I won't need to configure it every time that I add the widget. I just um, drag and drop the same widget and the design is already ready and I'm ready to go. So the next thing you want to do is go to the little pencil on the top right hand corner of the widget. Right click on it on your mouse and then just save as global. Once you did that give a name to your uh, global widget. Let's say it's a uh, global carousel. Um, let's call it global gallery, shall we? Global gallery carousel. Let's save it. Cool. Once we did that, we have right here in the uh, uh, left corner of the Elementor editor, we have the normal elements and then we have the global elements. Once you've seen the global elements, you see that there is a, a yellow, you could say folder that is already ready and made up for that. So we have a global gallery carousel. So let's say we save that. Obviously, once you finish with your editing, just click on publish. And if you want to see it on your website, just click the little eye icon and then it's going to show you up in the website. Now it's not showing up, but here you go. It entered the scene. Cool. So that is already ready for us. All right. So let's say I want to edit a new page from scratch. Cool. Let's close that window and exit to our dashboard. What I did, I went in a, in a left top hand corner. I went on the little three uh, horizontal lines and I went on the exit. Cool. Let's add a new page, shall we? 
cool let's add uh let's say it's a um, test for gallery global page cool let's publish that and add it with elementor now we have again a new brand new page and i just want to show you what's the difference now once i go again into the um widgets i just grab a new gallery and let's see what it looks like cool add a new gallery and i add new images let's say i want to one two three four and add different images this time cool added these two uh papers with the woo logo cool let's add this one just insert the uh, the, um, the gallery cool so we have that gallery that we just added and no additions applied cool now i just want to add the new global widget I go to these little boxes and I go to the global. Once I go to global, I have this widget, the global gallery cursor that we've just created. We just drag and drop it. I just want to drag it and drop it onto the uh, top of this widget. So we're going to see the uh, changes take place. I'm just going to release it and then we're going to see what happened. Cool. So now you can see that we have this widget that we already made a few minutes ago that you can see it's already 50% on the border radius of the images. It's already in a, a one single line. And you can see that it's just the same as we've just created. The difference is that this one is already made and it's already pre-made. And this one I have to make it from scratch. Now, we have a little more configuration that we can do. We can, once we are on this global widget, we can unlink it if for example, for some reason, we want to do a different style specifically for this widget. And um, let's say I'm on the product page and I just want to make it a little bit different, a little bit, uh, let's say I want to add a new border. I want to add different images. I just can unlink it. And that's not going to be applied for all the other widgets on our website. And the same thing, I can edit it on the same page and it's going to be applied all throughout my website. And that can also be very handy. So for example, I just want to edit it and then here I'm editing it. And let's say I want to, um, um, let's say I just want to make it a, a seven columns. All right, cool. Let's publish it. Cool. And now I want to go back to my original page that I've just created. So we updated that. Cool. We're going to exit it again. Um, top left hand corner these horizontal lines you click on the exit page cool now i just want to go to the te um, global widget page i'm sorry add it with elementor and then once i'm in the page you can see that these changes that i've just made in the other page already apply to this one and that is the global widget for elementor and if you have any more questions, any more tutorials on the subject of elementary plugins, themes that you would like to see on the channel, I'll be very, very happy to hear from you from in the comments below. And as always, my name is Larry, and I'll be happy to make your corner of the internet on WordPress just a little bit easier with those tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.